Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another session for MRCS exam. During carotid end artery to me, the internal carotid artery is cross clamped, assuming that no shunt is inserted. Which of the following vessel will not have diminished or absent flow as a result? So in this question, they want to know that which vessel will not diminish to our absent blood flow due to the carotid and arterectomy and after the cross clump of the carotid artery. So the carotid artery and it is branches will diminish, diminish its flow. So we have to find out the carotid artery and it is branches then they will be uh, their flow will be diminished or absent but uh, other brands uh, than the internal carotid artery they will not hamper any type of the flow so here are the options the options are anterior cerebral artery ophthalmic artery middle cerebral artery maxillary artery and none of the alpha. so we have to find out one of the option which is not branch of the internal carotid artery so here first of all we can see this is the common carotid artery here external carotid artery and internal carotid artery carotid artery uh, due to due to carotid and artery to be cross clump occurs at this spaces so the these internal carotid artery and branches of the internal carotid artery their flow will be diminished or will be absent but other area then this will not be affected so first of all we can see this is the internal carotid artery and if we go upward we can see first of all this is the ophthalmic artery then anterior cerebral artery middle cerebral artery anterior choroidal artery and posterior communicative artery so the internal carotid artery and the branches of the internal carotid artery they will be affected in the procedure Uh, so these are the branches of the internal carotid artery now let's see another branches of the common carotid artery which is the external carotid artery uh, so here this is the branches of the external carotid artery and this is one of the mnemonic uh, she always like friends over papa mama and sister so this is the mnemonic uh, to remember the branches of the external carotid artery first uh, is for superior thyroid then a for ascending pharyngeal artery then L for lingual artery, F for facial artery, O for occipital artery, P for posterior auricular artery, M for maxillary artery, and S for superficial temporal artery. And these are the branches of the external carotid artery. So now see here, uh, we have to find out the branches which is not uh, branches of internal carotid artery. First of all, uh, here we can see anterior cerebral artery, which is branch of internal carotid artery, ophthalmic, middle cerebral, and they also branches of the internal carotid artery but maxillary artery it is branched from the external carotid artery and here we can see the uh, mnemonics to remember the branches of internal carotid artery only press carotid arteries this only for ophthalmic press for posterior communicating carotid for uh, choroidal arteries means anterior cerebral and momentarily that is the middle cerebral so only press carotid arteries momentarily this is the mnemonic to remember the branches of internal carotid artery on the other hand the branches of the external carotid artery mnemonics is she always likes friends over papa mama and sister so this is all about the internal and external carotid artery thank you all